Okay, so now we're walking through the tea plantations. Um, most of the tea grown here is among the best in China. It's not just anybody can grow their tea bushes here. So these are all really um, high grade teas. So around us there's Shui Xian, Ru Gui, and a lot of other small varieties that I've never heard of. And then up at the top here, which where, where we're climbing to now, is the original Da Hong Pao trees. All right, so what you can see behind us on the hill up there is the original six Da Hong Pao trees. So basically, the reason they're called Da Hong Pao, let's see, we can just keep going up. Basically, the reason they're called Da Hong Pao, Da Hong Pao is Chinese for big red robe. And there was an emperor, I can't remember which one, it said about 300 years ago on the sign down there. There was an emperor who got really sick and the local people here gave him some tea which was picked from those six trees down there. And he got better. And then he was so happy that he um, sent one of his subjects down, like one of his mandarins down here and they put some red robes over the trees in order to say thank you. Although most of the tea we've just seen back there is Wulong tea, it's actually this mountain range where black tea was first invented. And the story goes like this. Initially, there was only green tea in China. And before the Ming Dynasty, tea was always compressed into cakes and then um, powdered up and it was made a lot like the Japanese matcha but um, later the the Ming Emperor he was worried that these tea cakes were being used as a form of currency and it was having a bad effect on the economy so he banned them people started producing loose leaf tea and one of the villages in this mountain range called Tianmu village had a load of um, had, lo had just picked the day's worth of tea, had it all piled up and then a load of soldiers came through and demanded use of the village as a, as a place to rest and then during that time the soldiers used all the piles of tea to sleep on. You can imagine that soldiers didn't wash very much so after they left after a few days um, all of their sweat and bad smell had soaked into the tea and the villagers were worried that the tea was ruined so they decided to try and cover over the bad smell by burning some pine wood and smoking the tea and then they were absolutely certain that this tea would never ever sell they thought it was just rubbish it was horrible so they begged somebody to take it down to the ports and try and send it off to indonesia where the dutch could buy it anyway someone finally agreed but what they never expected was that the the European traders said they absolutely loved the tea. Said they absolutely loved the tea and wanted more of it. And so that was how black tea was born. The original black tea was the smoked Lapsang Souchong. And then later they started to use the same method but without smoking it to create other varieties such as Chiman and Dian Hong.